Greetings and salutations, YouTube. This is Adrian here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic today. I'm coming at you guys with a new handbag rehab, and it is going to be on this beautiful Moschino bag but if you want to see the video of when i found this bag i'm gonna have it linked right there and down below in the description box as well if you guys want to check that out along with links to my other videos and i do post videos every single day so don't forget to add me um and subscribe to my channel anyway let's get into this i'm really excited about this bag um as you can see i did do like this this little corner right here because i was testing it out to see how well I could clean this bag and what techniques I should use and I have narrowed it down to just one thing that we're going to be using to clean it but then we're going to be using something else to condition it as well um, because cleaning does strip the leather um, of like moisture and like all that goodness and stuff so you want to add that back in to make sure that your bag is um, nice and hydrated and it protects it from absorbing stains, scratches and flaking and all that stuff. So. Um, without further ado, let's get into this. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to use. So this is pretty much the only cleaning product we're going to be using in today's video. It is the Kiwi Quick Dry Blute, Blute, Boot Cleaner. <laughs> um, there's, uh, there are actually two kinds. There's the boot cleaner and the sneaker cleaner. Honestly, I feel like they are both the same. Um, I really don't think there's a difference. I think this one might be a little slightly more expensive, um, but... I have found no real difference in how well each of them work. They both look the same, they smell the same, everything seems to be pretty much the same. Um, so I just pick up whatever's there. These are always selling out, I don't know what it is, but they are always sold out, but you can buy these very easily at Albertsons, or Albertsons, maybe some Albertsons, I'm not sure. But Walmart for sure, Target, uh, you can get these online as well. And I'm going to have them linked online just in case, too, if you guys can't find them. But um, usually you can find them, but sometimes I've gone to the store and there's like they're sold out. There's only one or two bottles left. So using those. Um, then for conditioning it at the end, we're going to be using the Cadillac Boot and Shoe Leather Lotion. I love this stuff so much. So we're using those. Um, to apply the leather lotion, we're just going to use a microfiber cloth. It is not dirty there. It just stains. Um, and then to kind of clean, we're going to be using just Q-tips um, and possibly a microfiber cloth as well. I found that this really gets into the nooks and crannies. And I also find that sometimes, as great as microfiber is, it can be, even though it's just cleaning and, like, it's not anything too crazy, it is still slightly a little bit more abrasive. And I feel like this is just a little bit more gentle and a little bit more controlled. And you can really get into the grooves of the leather. And this is a very intricate piece. There's lots of, like, little things. So this is what we're going to be using. And possibly also the, uh, what's it called? <laughs> the microfiber cloth. So, let's get into it. Um, to use this, you can read the directions on the back, but you just shake it up, and it comes out as a foam. Um, sometimes you want to let it sit um, on the stain a little bit, and um, it'll loosen it up, and then it'll be removed, removed more easily. But, yeah, we're just gonna go for it right now, and we'll, we'll just see how it transforms, because it is a big transformation. Let me see if I can zoom it in more. Is it coming up on camera? I feel like it's hard to tell on the screen, maybe when I get it on the computer. But this side is the side that I have not cleaned at all. And yeah, you can see it. This is like way lighter. It's like a white, white, white. And this is like a dirty, grungy, off-white. Um, I was very scared to, um, like... I, I thought that I was going to have to dye this whole thing black, but I'm really glad that I don't have to because I do love a white bag. So this is very exciting. So we're just going to apply this pretty liberally, but um, I found that there are like layers to the dirt on this thing. And we're going to have to do this just a couple of times. And then with this, I kind of just dis distribute it. You can also use a um, a horse hair brush as well to do this, to distribute, but I also feel like that could also be a little abrasive, and I believe this is a lambskin. I haven't really looked it up, but it, um, it looks and certainly feels like a lambskin bag, and lambskin is definitely just a little bit more, um, it's definitely softer than regular um, cowhide, and it's a little bit more delicate, so 
Um, I just don't want to do anything too abrasive to it. I don't want anything to ruin the leather. I really love this bag. So this is kind of like, um, you know, like when you watch like those professional restorers on uh, like... What channel is, like, the Discovery Channel? I don't know. Sometimes I watch them on YouTube, too. <laughs> when professional restorers, like, restore paintings and stuff. And they are just, like, so careful and so diligent with their work. And that's how I want to be with this bag as well. I just want to be very careful. Um, I'm okay if I don't get all of, like, the dirt the first time. I really just want this. Like, look how dirty this is already. Look at how dirty that is. Yikes. Um, I just want kind of like the cleaner to kind of soak into the leather a little bit. And then we're just uh, using the Q-tip to kind of distribute it and to kind of like loosen up some of that dirt throughout. And I know this is like a little bit more of a painstaking process than normal um, on a regular bag with just like regular leather that's um, not as... Um, fragile, I guess this one would be, um, I would definitely just go at it with a microfiber cloth, and it might even be a little bit easier, but again, I just want to be gentle. Um, at the end, when we use the microfiber cloth, it's going to be just really gently and really lightly, and it's just to remove the excess moisture from the cleaner, and, um, we also want to get these, this guy too. I actually didn't really do too good of a job on this side too, so we will also let that sit for a little bit. And we're just going to let the, again, we're just going to let the cleaner kind of percolate and just like sit on top of the leather. And I think I need more light. Alexa, turn on the ring light. I hope this kind of works. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> so you can see a little bit better now, yes. And I don't know if it's, like, if you guys can really tell on camera. Again, I wish I could, like, need, like, a monitor while I film these things. Because sometimes it's not that easy to tell. But when we wipe this stuff away, it is going to look really, really good. And then when we do it the second and possibly even third time, it's going to look even better. This bag is just going to look so fantastic. So, let me get... I have a new cloth down here. Okay, we're going to use this guy. And we're just going to gently just wipe it all away. Just going to wipe. Again, we're not wiping too vigorously. We're wiping very gently. Because, again, we don't want to um, hurt the leather. <laughs> But that already looks so, so, so much better, you guys. Doesn't it? I'll make sure to get into all these like little nooks and crannies of the bag. Like those are like these things, like they don't actually open, but then they kind of like flap up. You want to make sure to get into those. But look at how fantastic that already looks. Like, doesn't that look so good? It's still a little bit dingy, like this side is a lot cleaner. But let's go at it one more time. Um, on this side, I think I cleaned it about um, three times. So this is just going to be... A process just like anything else and you know what the saying like anything that's like really good takes some time this isn't one of those things that you want to rush especially because um, I feel like this is such a cool piece there are just some handbags that are like a work of art and this is one of them and this is like I feel like um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like this might be one of Moschino's, like, most iconic bags. Like, I know they have, like, a lot of really fun collections, like, the McDonald's stuff, the Barbie stuff. But I feel like the Moto Jacket bag is just, like, so cool. And it's so different from any other, um, designs that any other designers have been doing. 
So I just feel like it's so fun. It's very whimsical. And you know how I love that word whimsical. And anything that you can call whimsical or people would deem whimsical. Um, even if sometimes they're not that whimsical and I just think they are. I'll call it whimsical. But I feel like this is definitely one of those bags. This is very, very cool. You just gotta love Jeremy Scott. His um, imagination is just like so... So insane. I love all his collaborations. Like the My Little Pony stuff. So fun. All that stuff just like takes me to my childhood. If he ever did like. He even did like um those collections that he's done with Longchamp. And he does like those fun designs. Like I think he did like a gummy bear design. Um, He did like an, um, an odd to um, Andy Warhol. So just like a lot of cool fun stuff that I am just like so excited about this is also okay to get onto the fabric um i'm only i'm just trying to be careful not to get it on the fabric of the zipper because the fabrics of the zipper are actually pretty clean so i don't want any of the um gunk that is taken off to accidentally fall onto the zipper and then it to stay in the zipper because then that's just added work so um just try to clean it as much as possible this part of the zipper though is a little dirty so you can probably just try and do that I'm gonna get a new q-tip and that's another thing this kind of takes a lot of q-tips to do. We're just gonna let this sit on the zipper fabric as well because this is okay to use on fabric uh, which is pretty cool. I really like this cleaner a lot. Um, this one though is a little bit on the stronger side. I also really do enjoy there's an Angelus um, foam cleaner that is great for leather, it's great for fabric, and it's great for even suede. This um, this cleaner you wouldn't use on suede at all. But I really like that one. It's very, very gentle. And the, um, the cleaning abilities of it are really great as well. This one I feel like it cleans a little bit faster. But it's also a little bit of a stronger product. So you're always going to want to take everything into consideration when you're using things. Um, always do like little tests to see how... Um, things are going to react when you use them uh, but I think this looks pretty darn good what do you guys think uh, I think that once we um, sometimes like these wrinkles happen because of the cleaner and it kind of dries it out because I think there's like a little bit of alcohol in this I don't exactly know what the ingredients are because this isn't food so it doesn't really say oh, what is inside of it, right? Like, I feel like that's only for food, right? Anyway, so um, once we condition it up, I think it'll kind of like go like this. Because this is how this looked like before I conditioned it. So um, we're going to do a conditioning at the very end. So we only just have to do it once. But let us get, like, look how dirty this part is. Look at that. Um, I actually haven't done any of the corners or the sides or anything. So let's do that. And I think I might just speed up this whole process um, so that you guys don't have to deal with me kind of talking because, you know, I can just talk all your ears off perpetually. So let's get at it.
Okay, so now that I'm in the inside, I just want to talk to you guys again really quickly. I kind of switched up the tactics a little bit. Um, this one, you can be a lot more gentle and just use this because the, there's not really any nooks and crannies. You kind of just like glide this over just really, really gently. And that is what I've been doing right here. So, I know when you're cleaning bags and doing stuff like this, you kind of have to adapt. Um, but this seems to work really well, so this one looks good. As you guys saw up here, that's pretty much what I did too, was use this. And it was very yellow. I don't know how yellow it came off on camera. But it was very, very dirty. And, um, I was very glad to get these dark marks that were in the corners off pretty much this one. Um, the color actually came off right there, so it's like a light, light gray. Um, but, oh, there's a little bit more in the inside right here. So I also stuffed the bag too for when we do um, the back and the corners. I think it'll be easier if the bag is just slightly um, stuffed so that there's a little bit more um, resistance for when you're cleaning it. So it's not just like, uh, that just comes off like a dream. Yes. Now this bag, I believe it retails for about $1,500 to $1,600 um, resale. Um, it's still very expensive as well. Still like, I don't know, I think I've seen some sell for still like a thousand or something dollars or um, close to a retail depending on the color and style. Uh, so this is just like, I feel like that's like really with any iconic brand bag thing. Um, they, they always hold their resale value a little bit better. Um, nothing like Chanel or like um, Louis Vuitton and Hermes. Though like if you hold on to those bags, those bags will definitely skyrocket in value even more than the original retail that it was purchased at. Um, but this one I got at a really great price and you know why? It's probably because it was so dirty, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I think I got it, I want to say it was like $65 if memory serves. So a great deal and just putting in a little elbow grease can really clean up the bag and then it's just like going to be phenomenal. So I'm just like so excited that I had the opportunity to get such an amazing bag. And I've already like ever since the video came out for when I found this bag, a lot of people have been messaging me asking me about it, um, whether or not they can purchase it. I think I'm going to be keeping this in my personal collection at least for the time being so I can enjoy it for a little bit. Um, keep it in the archives <laughs> as um, people say. Um, but I don't know. Maybe one of these days I might let it go, but this is just such a cool piece and one that I don't think I'll ever get tired of looking at. I just think it's so cool. The style of it, the look of it, everything about it is just so iconic, so fun, and just to, I never thought I would actually own this bag because it's actually pretty hard to find. Um, so I was excited to be able to get it at such an amazing deal. So that's what the price, I don't think I mentioned the price of it when I uh, showed it in the video. So that is how much it was. It was about $65, $75. Um, don't remember the exact price off the top of my head, unfortunately. And if I remember, I'm going to look for the receipt and stick it in to the bottom of this video. But now I'm cleaning this part, which I feel like was probably one of the dirtiest parts of the bag. And that's because this part protrudes the most out, um, like on the bag. So it's going to get the most friction, it's going to get the most, like, um, yeah, pretty much like the most friction and the most contact with um, your body when you're carrying it. So that always um, will cause, like, a certain spot to be more stained or more marked up or more worn or have more um, friction or, um, like, signs of wear on it, so... I'm just gonna let this sit because this spot is just really dirty. So that's also what I like about the Q-tip. It lets the product kind of like disperse. Um, whereas when I use the microfiber cloth, it just has, of course, it's like a cloth and it has the propensity to just suck up all of the liquid so it's not sitting there anymore. So this allows the uh, the foam to kind of like get into all the nooks and crannies, disperse throughout the leather and clean and do all of its wonders so you can see right here these dark spots these let me zoom in see if you guys can really get a good view as you guys can see right here these 
that's color loss. That's just gone. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try and color match it or if I'm just going to leave it because um, I don't really want to do anything with this bag um, as far as like losing like any of its like original integrity other than cleaning it. I don't want to put any layers of paint on it. Um, though I might, I haven't decided yet, but we'll see how um, the final results of the bag come out. And also sometimes with just cleaning, um, this will lighten because usually um, that is just dirt that just like has stuck, gotten stuck inside. So sometimes when you clean it, um, even though there is color loss, um, some of that color will kind of like return that was like underneath all the dirt and it'll get, um, it'll be like just the gray instead of like such a dark black. So, um, we'll wait and see. Man, this is just like <laughs> so dirty. But that's kind of half the fun, like seeing how clean you can get something. That is just so satisfying to see a bag get really clean when you've been working on it. I feel like it's such like a fun thing. So we're going to work on this part right here up top. Right here, let me just... Oh yeah, that is coming out. Is that coming up? Hold on. This part is just like kind of bothering me because... <laughs> oh yeah, that is just coming out. Oh my gosh! Looking, oh no, that is doing a fantastic job. Wow, okay, let's try to do. So this part is, was, was like pretty dirty, right? Let's see how much of this will come out. You know, this is another thing too, with these um, really great designer bags that are made well. The products, or like the, the materials that they use to make these bags are also equally fantastic. And on a cheaper bag with cheaper leathers and all that stuff, Cleaning it like this probably won't even be possible. It might be a lot more difficult and you might not even be able to do it. Or doing this like will rub off all the color because the color hasn't like isn't really steadfast at all. So there's just a lot of different factors um, that can go into. Oh my gosh, you guys, can you see how dirty it is in there? What is in there? <laughs> yeah that is I just did that so um, we're just gonna let it just gonna squish this around in there we'll just go to town on that in a second we're just gonna let that sit cuz that is I don't know I feel like some bugs were died in there or something let's zoom it out just a tad bit Oh, goodness gracious. Oh my gosh, look at the Q-tip. Oh, oh, it's so dirty. I'm just going to clean the outside part. Oh, the collar is like just so much cleaner now that we... Oh, the collar looks... So much better, you guys. Okay, I'm scared to do this, but um, let's just get in there. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so dirty. What is in there? It's like a... <laughs> oh, this is like so gross. It's like a belly button. It's like a dirty, linty belly button. That's what this is. The belly button of the bag. So um, normally bags don't have belly buttons, but I mean, this one does, and it's a little intense. But we're gonna work through it and we're gonna get it clean I mean it's cleaning up pretty easily um, I think I got it almost all out already at this point man that is fantastic that just looks so 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 good 
Oh my gosh, and which was once a dirty belly button is no more. Yes, okay, okay, okay. <gasps> wow, the back is looking so good. It's looking a bajillion times better. Okay, um, let's work on this corner now because I haven't done this side yet, so. Let's do this guy. Alright you guys, so now the bag I think is pretty much clean. Look at how fantastic that looks. I cannot believe the little belly button was so dirty, didn't even notice that. The back is pretty good, um, though the back does probably have the most amount of like wear. Um, especially down here, a lot of like there's actual like color loss to the bag. So, unless it's like repainted or something, none of that's really going to um, come back. But it is so much cleaner. It looks so fantastic. So now all that's left to do is really to just condition the bag. So um, I'm going to get my little leather conditioner. I'm going to get my microfiber cloth. And we are going to town on this bag. Um, okay, so I'm just going to put some leather conditioner onto here and just go at it um i'm gonna be kind of liberal with it too because i don't know when the last time this bag's ever been moisturized and um i'm not gonna like try to like wipe it all off i'm just gonna let it let it kind of absorb um into the leather this is a really really great leather lotion and one that I have just been so obsessed with ever since I started using it all those years ago. And I really haven't found one since um, that I've liked more. So this is just my favorite one so far. Um, I'm always trying new ones though. And I always take any suggestions. So if you guys have any favorites that you have tried, let me know down below in the comments. Because I would love to try it out. And also, if you have a bag that's really, really, really um, dry, apply it with your fingers. Don't use a cloth because the cloth is going to absorb some of it. That's why I'm kind of going kind of fast and I'm not like really rubbing it um, too much. I'm kind of like just letting the leather lotion kind of just like glide on and kind of sit onto the top because then the bag is just going to um absorb the lotion and then that's totally fine that's what you want so that do the sides you can apply on the on the fabric or on the um what's it called you can use the microfiber cloth or just like put it onto the leather itself. Either way is really fine. This leather lotion is really great. Really works with a lot of different leathers. Just not um, natural untreated leathers or um, suede. Though this does work on machete leather. You can use this on machete and it won't like do anything to it. It won't discolor it or anything. It'll get a little bit darker at first. But then it'll go back to its original color once it's dried. So... This one is a great one to use on your Louis Vuitton bags if you do want to use it on them too. This is also a cleanser, so it will also clean at the same time as conditioning. Um, and you, you probably could have used this for this whole cleaning thing, but it probably wouldn't have worked as well. So um, when you're using this after the 
first cleaner, you're kind of like cleaning it once and then you're kind of cleaning, cleaning it a second time while you're also adding in that moisture. So that's what I really like about this one. It's a cleanser and a conditioner. So there we go. That is pretty much it. Oh, don't, let's not forget the belly button. So that is pretty much it for this bag. It looks so, so, so fantastic from how it looked originally. Um, it's not 100% perfect, but I feel like it is like 85, 90% there. There are just a little mark, especially mostly on the back, but this just looks so gorgeous now. And there you go. So that is it for today's handbag we have. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what other ha what other handbag rehabs you guys want to see in the future. I do have a lot of videos already for handbag rehabs. I'm going to have them linked if you guys want to check them out. Maybe the topic that you're asking about has already been covered. And a lot of topics have been covered numerous times as well. So go check those out. Um... Let me know what your thoughts are on this handbag rehab down below. Are you going to be brave enough to try this on your handbags? Comment down. I want to know what you guys have done as well. So send me some messages on here. Send me DMs on Instagram. Tag me on Instagram so we can share your handbag rehabs with the rest of the, uh, rest of the thrift squad. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to check out today's vlog. It's up at 2 p.m. And the new thrifting video goes up right and early tomorrow at 7 a.m. Pacific Center Time. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye! Carpets. Hello. My god, this looks really soft. Oh, it is really soft. It's a Target blanket, I think. It's kind of cool, black and white. $8.